a brutal web remix OS is an exceedingly beautiful, flexible, and super fast alternative to Google Chrome OS. And the OS runs on nearly any machine, including the very old PCs. Yes, you heard that right. That includes your very old PC. Using WayDroid, you can practically install and effectively run any Android apps on the Ubuntu Web Remix OS. You can simply download any APK file, double click on the APK file and install the APK file on your Ubuntu Web Remix OS just as you would on any Android devices. Unlike Chrome OS, Ubuntu Web Remix OS employs Firefox or Brave as the browser and uses eFoundation collection of apps as opposed to Google services for the Chrome OS. As a result, you can effectively experience Google Chrome OS on your PCs without a bit of Google services. Although, if you wish, you can still install and run any of the Google apps on your PCs while you're still running Ubuntu Web Remix OS on the PC. In this video, I am going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Ubuntu Web Remix OS on your PC. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Step 1. Insert your bootable flash drive into your PC. As you can see from the screen, I am now inserting my bootable flash drive into my PC. And step 2. Power on your PC. Okay, my PC is not being powered on. From the screen, you can see the options. Just select Ubuntu Web. Okay, I'm selecting Ubuntu Web. Now I'll click the enter button. In a few moments, my PC will be booted into the Ubuntu Web Remix OS. Now let's give it a moment. Okay, my PC is now rebooting. Um, this screen you are currently seeing usually takes between 2 to 5 minutes depending on the speed of your PC. In my own case, it actually took uh, 5 minutes plus before the PC is fully booted into the Ubuntu Web Remix OS. Okay, the PC is still booting. Alright, let's just hold on a few more moments. Right, you can already see Ubuntu Web logo just uh, below the Lenovo. Now the PC is booted. Okay, from your screen, you can see try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Uh, you actually do have to select your language option first. In my case, I select English. You can browse to select your own language as well. And um, I'm going to try Ubuntu first before the actual installation. So I'm clicking on Try Ubuntu now. Right, so the PC is now being booted. It's now being booted into the proper OS. Now you can see from the screen, the PC is now put into the OS. Remember, currently we are running the OS from the bootable USB flash drive, which we earlier inserted into the PC. So now you can see from your screen, this is the OS. And um, if, you have, if you have experienced uh chrome os before on any machine you will see this ubuntu web remix os looks a lot like chrome os of course that is the reason for the ubuntu web remix os the ubuntu web remix os is actually designed to be installed on pcs that cannot run the Google Chrome OS and for this reason this Ubuntu Web Remix OS can be installed on as many pieces as you can think of even the very old machines can actually run Ubuntu Web Remix OS quite fine 
Another thing is the Ubuntu Web Remix OS is actually designed for people that wishes to experience the flexibility and the functionality of the Chrome OS without the actual Chromebook. So if you are in love with Chrome OS and you really want to experience the OS, Ubuntu Web Remix OS is a very very good option for you which are you can explore so currently we are checking out the OS trying it out exploring it remember um, not all the functionality of the OS will be available as we are currently running the OS from the flat uh, USB flash drive which was uh, which had been inserted into the PC and um, even from the flash drive, we can see that the OS is quite fast, not so sluggish, and uh, everything seems to be working fine. Even though some functionality will not be available, even some features as well will not be accessible from while you are running the Ubuntu Web Remix OS from your flash drive. So to experience that just we, we're going to have to install the OS on the PC, which I'm trying to do now. So you can click on the install icon, which I've just done. And we've got to wait a few seconds. The install wizard will just pop up soon. Okay. Yes. Now here's the install wizard. So from your screen, you can see, welcome. So you select your language from the list, whichever language for me I've selected, uh, I'll be selecting English. Once uh, that is selected, the next is um, keyboard layout. So you can choose your keyboard layout from the list. For me, you I actually cho chose mine, but you can have the, P uh, the OS to automatically detect for you. So now the next, after selecting the keyboard layout is updates and other software options. So in my case, I choose not to install updates while installing the PC so that I, I mean, while, while installing the OS on the PC so that I can have a relatively faster installation experience. So you can actually do the update after the OS has been installed on your PC, which is an option I prefer. So I've proceeded. Now the installation type. So here you can decide if you actually want to draw boot the Ubuntu Web Remix OS with another OS, or you choose to install only the Ubuntu Web Remix OS. So effectively, if you're installing only the Ubuntu Web Remix OS on your PC, the Ubuntu Web Remix OS will be replacing whichever OS you already have on your PC and that is exactly what I'm going to do in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be talking about how to drag to Ubuntu Web Remix OS with other OS. Now from the screen, you can see you select your location. For the best experience, for the best tailored experience, you should select your own actual location. So I've selected my own location, then I'll click continue. So uh, I've clicked continue now from the screen here, you enter your PC identity, like your username, the login password. You, can, you should make sure you enter a password you cannot forget, a password you can always remember. So after entering, the password, you confirm the password and then you click continue. Okay, so now the OS is now being installed on the PC. Actually, um, depending on the speed of your PC, from this st uh, step, it should take between 10 to 20 minutes for the installation. But actually, in my case, it took a little above 25 minutes before the installation is complete. But don't worry, we're not going to wait that long here because uh, I've actually fast forwarded the, uh, the video from here.
Okay, um, while we wait for the installation to be complete, I, um, let's talk about a few things about the Ubuntu Web Remix OS. Uh, from the experience of the Ubuntu Web Remix OS, the OS uh, on my other PCs, which I've tried out, the, which I've actually installed the Ubuntu Web Remix OS and experienced the flexibility and the functionality of the OS. The OS is actually very fast and very stable for now. Um, the the flavor of the OS which I have tested thoroughly is the one that deploys Firefox as a browser. But actually, there is another flavor which employs Brave as the browser. Uh, of course, I've not I've not tried that out, but um. One of these days, I hope to try it out. So currently, the Firefox flavor, which I have tried out, I have been able to install several Android apps on the PC, and they are working incredibly fine. They're working incredibly fine. So the Ubuntu Web Remix OS actually uses WayDroid as a client for running Android apps. So, uh, but the downside of the OS, just like uh, we have on Chrome OS as well, is without internet connectivity, the OS is limited by use. But in as much as you are connected to the internet and uh, the PC is able to access the internet, the possibilities are endless. You can run several Android apps on your Ubuntu Web Remix OS. You can as well enable Linux environment and install several Linux applications on your Ubuntu Web Remix OS. Like um, in my case, I was able to run Jimp, which is a, a software similar to um, Photoshop, I've been able to run Notepad++, Notepad++ which is actually, we all know, um, in case you're not aware, Notepad++ is not available for any other, P, any other OS than Windows. But actually, using a Snap version, you can run Notepad++ on your Linux machines. And that's what I've done. And um, I've had Flathub, Flathub repo, I've had it uh, installed. Okay, now the installation is complete. So what you have to do now is to reboot your PC. While the PC is being rebooted, remember to um, remove your bootable USB flash drive from the PC. Otherwise, the OS will not boot on. So now, let's see. My PC is not being rebooted. It will take a few moments before it come back on, like um, some seconds, like 10 to 15 seconds. The PC would uh, be booted back to the to the OS. But before then, I've not actually removed my flash drive. So the first thing it will ask me to do is to remove the flash drive so that uh, the OS could boot. So I'm now removing my flash drive and um, um, I'm okay. So the PC is now rebooting to the OS. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay. System is still preparing to launch. Okay, it's not coming on. All right, so here we are. The Ubuntu Web Remix OS is now installed on my PC and fully operational, I guess. Yes, I guess. So, guys, this is it. That's the 
simple step by step guys on how to install ubuntu web remix os on your pc i hope you guys like this tutorial remember check the description of this video for the download links of the ubuntu web remix os the iso files for both drive browser and firefox browser version or flavors of the ubuntu web remix os are made available there also your usb flash drive needs to be made bootable using the images of the ubuntu web remix os you can use reference or etcher if you are using windows pc and you can use wall usb if you are using a linux usb to make a bootable usb flash drive and also you can check the description of this video for the step-by-step -step tutorial article from our website if you're having any issues at installing this ubuntu web remix os on your pc you can also visit our website at www.arictech.net a r y k t e c k dot net and thank you very much for your time thank you for checking this tutorial i hope you guys like this tutorial for other tutorials similar to this you can follow you can subscribe to our channel and uh, remember to click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload beautiful tutorials such as this